What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ and Mike, and this natty video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Long Beach State men's volleyball been rocking and rolling as the nation's best team all year, but they got to execute the encore at Poly Pavilion on Saturday. It's the national championship. No big deal. It's just Long Beach State's first NCAA title game since 2004. Trying to win the school's first championship in two decades. ESPN is out. The lights are on. It's showtime. OLB Nation showed up for sure to see this team so talented. Josh Tuininga, the player of the year. And you might know this guy, last year's player of the year. Yeah, they're okay, this Long Beach State team. They do have some talent out there. Uh, UCLA, though, has been the hot hand coming in the tournament. Dylan Misery, I mean, some unbelievable servers, and they definitely showed that early, but Long Beach in control in the first set. It looked like they were at home, Mike. It looked like it was just a continuation of the Big West tournament at Walter Pyramid. Serve receive, so important in this match, and TJ DeFalco setting the tone correctly with count em. Para aces. There's not another guy in the country that could hit that, throw the fastball and then hit the changeup that perfectly, but Long Beach State definitely did not feel at home in the second and third sets as UCLA dug in on the end line. First off, though, we got to talk about what a great crowd this was, JJ. You got to keep playing this thing on the West Coast. It was incredible, Mike. And yeah, obviously, obviously UCLA rolled with that momentum created by the home crowd. They take set two, 25 23. They take set three, 25 20. Long Beach is on the ropes. But they fight back. They were down 18-16 in the fourth. Tuaninga with the drop off the block. He's going to break the 24-24 tie here in the fourth. Matt Butler getting the crowd up for the Tuaninga serve. I mean, I don't know what to say about Josh, except he's from Long Beach, and he is just an absolute G. Ace to send it to the fifth. 26-24 Long Beach. Uh, and at that point, you go from feeling like Long Beach had almost no chance to get back into this match to feeling like the fifth set was going to be theirs, and it was. Get to win Orange County Street. Get your pop 10 out. It's a block party in the fifth <laughs> set for Long Beach State at the net. What I tell you, Mike, I texted you. I said, if this thing goes five, they're going to win it. And they came back in the fourth, had all the momentum going into the fifth, and then a play like that from TJ DeFalco, it was incredible. Second match point of the night. Tuininga is going to find Nick Amato in the middle. Winner, winner, first title in two decades dinner. Wow. National championships live in Long Beach. 5-6-2 over you. Basically, pretty incredible to see a moment like this for these Long Beach State kids, the players, the coaches, their fans. You obviously see what a fun moment this was. Security trying in vain to keep the students from rushing the court. And they're like, hey, it was 1998. We weren't alive the last time we won a national championship. We're going on the hardwood. We're going to soak this thing up. It was pretty crazy on the court afterwards. We're going to kind of enjoy this with you as we celebrate with the Long Beach State men's volleyball team. Dilly dilly. Got to get that selfie in there. And hey, why not have the mayor on hand? Well, everyone was there. It definitely felt like a reunion. Tuaniga, the most valuable player of the tournament. Long Beach State hit 325 in the national championship. Bjorn Hoos, one of the uh, few seniors that will be departing this team, which will return five All-Americans next year. Kyle Ensing had 20 kills on 326 hitting. TJ DeFalco, 18 kills. It was incredible all the way around. And it was a family win. You see head coach Alan Knipe here thanking former teammates, former players. I mean, these guys, what, what can you say about those dudes? 49ers literally pick each other up, JJ. Pretty, <laughs> a, a lot of special moments out there. Uh, Tyler Hildebrand, who assembled this stud recruiting class back to see them win it, which was pretty special for sure, and so glad he was there to see the team he helped put together. And then the cutting of the net. I didn't even know they did this. We've never seen it because they it's haven't so cool. won a national championship since we were freshmen in high school. The men's volleyball team has not won a national championship since 1991 when Alan Knight, the head coach, was a player on that team. This is just the second NCAA title in the men's volleyball team's history. And boy, was it a special one for them to come back the way they did in the fourth and grit it out. Just took the Bruins lunch in the last two sets and then showed that trophy as soon as they got it to all of the traveling fans. Long Beach really showed up in Westwood today, and as they should, this team definitely deserves all of the support. A team for the ages, a trophy for all time. No one can ever take away the fact that these 49ers are national champions. Stay tuned to the 562.org as we bring you continuous coverage of this championship this week. And make sure you hit that subscribe button on top of the website to support Long Beach sports coverage.